Lots of people say we have problems with the new generation. We have to change. Who's the only person you can change? Yourself. That's leadership, by the way. Lots of people say we have problems with the new generation, with the millennials, with the Gen Zs or whatever. How do we get work from? How many of you have problems? Or think you have problems? <laughs> new generation, Gen Zs. Yes? See, like it or not, that's the new generation. Like it or not, that's the majority of the workforce. So, who has to change? If we have to get the best from them, who has to change? We have to change. <laughs> we can't manage them the way our early bosses managed us. So, we have to change the way we work. We have to figure out new ways, right? Otherwise, we won't have a workforce, <laughs> right? So, we have to figure out new ways. If you say Gen Z's cannot be counted on, Gen Z's are not committed, Gen Z's, you know, you can't get work from them, I would say you're entirely wrong. Entirely wrong. Most of the people I'm working with are Gen Z's. People I'm working with who are paid salaries to work, and then other people I'm working with who are paid nothing to work. Because of my other work with choral music and choirs and stuff like that. Right? All Gen Z's mostly, and we're getting things done. By the way, I have, I have something called Sangeet, which is a community choir, right, where we are trying to do great things, but everyone in that choir has a role to play. Some are doing social media, some are designing costumes, some are writing music, some are doing various things. Nobody's paid. <laughs> They're doing it because they see a bigger vision. Like, let's say 20,000 lives, there's a bigger vision here. So we are mobilizing people towards the vision. Sometimes it falls short, but yeah, by and large, it's, it's working. Yeah? So we have to change, we have to change. Again, if you really look at it, in any situation, who's the only person that you can change? Who's the only person you can change? Yourself. All right. So Gen Z's, I think there's a lot of potential there. It's all about getting everyone onto the same mindset, the same vision, shared vision. Right, I was telling you about these Asian choir games where we took part. So one of my groups of uh, the choristers was kids between the age of 10 and 14. How long do you think you can keep a kid in that age focused for a length of time? How long? Huh? Five minutes. How long can you keep a child focused? Give me some answers. You must be parents, right? How long can you keep your children focused? One to two minutes. 30 seconds. Y'all are like really under, underestimating their potential. How long? How long? Two, three minutes. Have you seen children sitting in front of a TV for hours? Is that two, three seconds? No. <laughs> so, so people also tell me this. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maximum 30 minutes. I used to keep them focused at a stretch for about three hours. Why? Not because I want them to. Because they want to. <laughs> there is a bigger vision that they are trying to accomplish here. They want to win the competition. They see that they can. They see their potential. Who's telling them all these things? Me. But then they believe in it and they want to get there. That's leadership, by the way. Yes. So now after three hours, I am tired. And then they say, Uncle, can we do it one more time? <laughs> are, you, are you seeing the difference here? It's not because I'm telling them. It's because I've got them to a point where now they want to. If they want to, you can't stop them, right? Is that also true? If your kids want to do something, they'll somehow find a way, right? If they want to watch a TV program, they'll find a way. So, isn't it the same with our teams on a different scale? If your team wants to achieve targets, they will somehow find a way. If they don't want to, no matter what you tell them, they won't do it. So we have to get them to the point where they want to. Yes?